Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims 3 Leprosy Challenge. So in the last part we did some renovations with Soon Young at her job. We also placed down a very very ex nice and exciting wedding lot. Um, I renovated the lot in the very last part uh, of the very last half of the last episode i did not build this lot let me make that clear if you would like to to download this lot for yourself it is by wimmy for from the sim the sims resource so just type wimmy sims resource into google um obviously wimmy spelled w-i-m-m-i-e and you can also get the slot for yourself i did some very minor renovations on it and if you don't remember the renovations i did i'll go over them really quickly here so i added a oh it looks like people are already coming here for some reason Okay, well, that's not supposed to happen. Maybe they're here for church. I don't know. You know, who is this? Stacy Pedler. Maybe she's here for church. I don't exactly know. Um, But anyways, so what I did is I added like this little festival area because I mentioned that the church I used to go to when I was really, really young. I'm not religious anymore, but when I was a kid, my grandma used to bring me to church like every weekend and they had like this little festival every year. So I thought that maybe this church could also has a festival i don't know i'm just whatever uh and then i added this little table for the wedding cake that we will eventually purchase a buffet table for people to eat after the ceremony and like a little what is this thing called like a bench i guess with like an overhang on it i don't know and then here's the inside of the lot like i mentioned i did not make this lot myself so don't get that don't get it twisted, okay? I'm not that skilled of a builder. Don't scare me, please. Um, okay, so here's this wedding arch right here. This is from Sunlit Tides. I do not have generations installed, obviously, because we haven't reached that part of the Lepisy yet. So I had to use this kind of... It doesn't really go with the building, I understand that, but it's the only way that I can have them get married under a wedding arch. So there is that. Um, back here is just like some shrubs and uh, flowers. What was I saying? Wait, why is this like this? this? This bush is literally floating in the air. Okay, that's very strange. Anyway, these two are getting a little frisky over here. They're hugging each other. Maybe we should have them, you know, do a little risky, risky woohoo in the bed. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, in this episode, I mean, it's no secret. Isabel should have her baby. And I mentioned before, I, I cannot switch off of off this household because if I switch off this household, I can almost guarantee you that story progression is going to have Aaron and Soon Young get married and then we will not be able to have a wedding. I can almost guarantee it because it did the same thing with Molly and Amir. You guys remember that? I was super disappointed. I was like, damn it, I really wanted to see their wedding. But yeah, we didn't get the, we didn't get the chance to throw, throw them a wedding because of story progression being a little asshole. But you know what? I love story progression for, for every other thing. But you know, when it when it takes away the ability to have a wedding, you know, that becomes problem. Okay. Also, in the last episode, Lewis finally got with Jade Andrews, who he met in high school, and we kind of stole her away from her husband, who was Tucker. Um, Tucker is one of the Sunset Valley crew meaning he was in the original generation one let's play so it's kind of a strange thing happening here where we kind of have some drama happening between sunset valley crew original members actually lewis isn't even a member of the sunset valley crew because he was born in twinbrook yeah he was him and wait i think the twins wait a second no no the twins are born in sunset valley ayana is the only one that was born in twinbrook i'm fairly sir wait a second i might be wrong i don't remember someone will have to go back and tell me um oh these two just woohooed and now they're like making out let's have them go on a little date together is she hungry no she's not even hungry okay well we're gonna have them go see a movie i know i know aaron is like starving but if we don't go and see the movie now then we will not have enough time to go and see it and they both want to go on a date anyway so we'll have them go and attend a little movie. We'll go Simdonia in June. I guess that's a movie we'll go see. All right, guys, go have fun. Go out, you know, enjoy your Saturday. Enjoy the day before your wedding. Speaking of that, uh, speaking of which, we're gonna have to change up her formal attire, of course. We're gonna have to give her a nice little wedding dress, so that's something to think about. 
but you know that only takes a second so it'll be okay uh, we're gonna have roxy go outside and get the mail because we do have mail for whatever reason i don't know who it's from it can't be a love letter normally it's love letters like oh it's a present oh recipes oh it's for because she maxed out her cooking skill maybe we should put this in the kitchen typically i don't put the certificates like in the kitchen i move objects on um let me turn that off move objects off i actually might need that on i think i might need it on we'll move objects on um i typically don't put the certificates in the kitchen but i think because it's cooking a cooking certificate like that it only makes sense to put it in the kitchen you know what i mean um uh, let's get rid of this painting right here and we can put the Roxy's cooking certificate <laughs> in the kitchen. And all right. So I, this makes me scared. This makes me really fucking scared. How many sim days do I have? I have a hundred day lifespan on. We need to bump that up a little tiny bit. Um, I'm going to knock it back down once we have the wedding. But if Roxy doesn't make it to the wedding, I don't know. I'm going to be besides myself, honestly. Like I will not be able to handle it if Roxy passes before she sees Aaron get married because I feel like I've worked so hard for this wedding like I downloaded lots I renovated the lot a little bit don't get me wrong I did not build the lot but I renovated it um anyway I'm gonna have Ayana just so the game like doesn't force her into a job I'm gonna have her registered as a self-employed sculptor this kind of wasn't really the the thing I wanted her to do with her life but um I don't know I just it's I would rather have her register as a, like a self-employed sculptor rather than have Sarah Progression push her to get a job in something that I don't want her to do I oh education career could be interesting <gasps> wait a second education career came with ambitions hold up hold up we're gonna have her be a teacher yep I've decided Ayana is going to go and be a teacher maybe she can be a music teacher um, I don't know what kind of teacher she would be. So now that I've done that, <laughs> I don't know. Is there, is there, I don't even think there's a lifetime wish that's like reach level 10 of the education career. I don't think there is one. So with that said, we're going to continue having her be the descendant of Da Vinci and on her weekdays, of course, she can work in the education career. Um, I, I can perfectly see her being a teacher. Like, I think that's a great choice. I think that's a great, you know path for her to take because even when she was in school she was like a goody two-shoes that type of thing so i think it only makes sense if she becomes a teacher oh he wants to go fishing right yeah he wants to go fishing i remember amir would get that wish all the time okay what are you doing he wants to learn handiness skill do you have a tab cast you do okay well that's easy enough oh not guitar not guitar not guitar just okay yeah you can go join that and hooking up is easy, staying that way is tough part. Frankie Frankie Welloff and Delilah Baker seem to be willing to try though. Delilah is Amir's daughter from uh, Guadalupe, if you guys don't remember. I know we haven't like talked to her pretty much at all. I think it's kind of a point, speaking of Amir, apparently him and Molly are doing fantastic. <gasps> is she going to, oh no. Michael's going to work, apparently. For whatever reason, the game, like, took away his eyebrows when he wears his ghost-busting suit. I don't quite know why, but it's okay. I guess. I guess he can have no eyebrows if the game wants him to have no eyebrows. He's, like, starving. I need to have him come home. I just wanted them to, like, go on, like, a little wedding, pre-wedding date, you know. Train on board breaker. We don't even have a board breaker. So I want to be able to do that. I wish we did though, because I really would like my Sims to improve their martial arts skill, but I just cannot foresee that happening. She wants to play. Maybe we should have her go play in the park. Oh, she has like a bunch of people over here. You know, let's have her go to the park. And I know there's a bunch of people over there, but we're going to have her go and play at the park for tips. There is even more people at the park right now. Thomas Castor, Lenny Smith-Jones. I'm just seeing if we look, if we know any of these people. Here's one of the Baylisses. Um, if you guys don't remember... The Bayless family owns the junkyard in town and they all look very strange. Yeah, okay, we're gonna move off of him now. Um, what is this? Mark Brands. I don't really know any of the Sims. I think it's just because we didn't really get that involved with the town, you know? We kind of kept to ourselves a lot with Twinbroke and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of talking like I'm reflecting um, because 
I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's like episode 17 or 18 or something, right? I'm pretty sure it's like episode 18 or something uh, of this Lempacy, maybe 16. I don't know. I, I never even know the part name until I fucking see it myself when I'm uploading the video. Um, but it's crazy. Like, we're balls deep in this town, which is insane to me. Also, I feel like exploding some stuff right now. So let's go and have him try this out now. This is a feature that comes with ambitions <laughs> and basically you can detonate shit if your sim is a little is if your sim's a little daredevil and wants to um lewis learn that cat has a partner who are you talking to oh he's talking to someone online i was like how do you know that cat has a partner speaking of which well not speaking of anything where the fuck is isabel's baby she should be heavily pregnant at this point why is she not giving birth? I thought she was farther along than she was, I guess. Let's have Lewis. Lewis is doing nothing right now. Um, we're gonna have- uh, no one's home right now. Where the fuck is Isabel? Do we know Isabel well? We like barely know her at all. Okay, well we're gonna- he just blew that up and I didn't even look. Okay, well at least he got some scrap, right? Two units of scrap. And he fucked up the grass back here. <laughs> Um, we're gonna have him take his little sister's chair that she made and we're gonna have him detonate that. I would be so pissed off if I was Aeona if my big brother was like exploding my fucking hard, you know, my, my shit that I worked so hard. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. About to have some explosions. Yes. Come on, explode. Explode it, Aaron. What? Oh my god, Aaron, don't walk towards it. Why are you walking towards it? Why are you walking towards it? <gasps> oh my god, you could have killed yourself, you fucking idiot. He literally could have died. He could have fucking died there. You dumbass. Oh my fucking god. That Nate Deluxe so prime. Fuck off, Aaron. I'm never. Ha oh, here we go. Okay, Roderick gave birth to a baby boy named. K or, <laughs> Roderick is now the father of a new baby boy. Isabel gave birth to Roderick. Uh, <laughs> Isabel gave birth to Roderick's baby named Curtis. That was so hard for me to say. So let's check out his traits. And we need to, he needs a bed too. Like he has no crib. He's gonna be sleeping on the floor. Let's see what he looks like. Let's see if he looks if he had his dad's hair or his mom's hair. Whoa, he has like a strange face. It looks like he got his dad's blonde hair and i don't really know much else she's so cute look at her she's so pretty um let's check his traits so we'll go here and then here and then here and he got excitable and couch potato you know these are those are traits i'm not actually that mad at i can vibe with them and then she put the baby just threw him on the fucking floor complain about baby <laughs> that's so funny yeah well when your teenage daughter has a baby you know you gotta throw it on the floor, apparently, according to according to Isabel. I'm gonna have them end their day as well. Um, I cannot believe he detonated that. I am, like, so pissed off at him that that happened. But it was a really nice time we spent together. Thanks. Oh, how sweet. I'm so happy that they're having their wedding. Speaking of which, we have to actually throw the party. So let's do that. Super exciting. We have to make our little guest list. And then we have to make sure that our sims are dressed to the best. We gotta make sure that they have nice suits and all that type of stuff. So we're gonna throw it. Oh, do I have to change the lot type? Damn it. Let's change the lot type. I can change it like a park or something. And I think it'll let me throw the wedding there. I don't know why, but you can't throw weddings at um, hangouts for some fuck all reason. Okay, so we have a beach, big park. We could do... We could make it a small park or visitors allowed. That also works. Uh, let's just mar mark it as a park, I guess, because you can make you can make um, weddings at parks, so that'll work out perfectly. All right, so I'm gonna have him throw the party again. Let's hope that that'll actually work. He like wants to explode all this stuff out. I'm not letting you explode anything else. I don't know if they can actually die from that, but holy shit, let's get the fuck out of me. First, why would he walk closer to it? when it was like about to be detonated i cannot tell you okay so we're gonna throw the party at 2 p.m it's gonna be formal attire we're gonna invite jade who is lewis's girlfriend we're going to invite 
Who is Clay? Clay Hardwood is Ayano's romantic interest. I don't know. No, just no. Oh, Roxanne. I forgot Roxanne had a boyfriend. Keen Way. Um, I totally forgot she had a boyfriend. I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna. Why? What the fuck? Ayana has two romantic interests, and Soon Young has one. Why does Soon Young have a romantic interest? She's supposed to be getting married tomorrow. I am just so fucking confused in every which way in this universe. Okay, well, we're gonna have to end all those relationships tonight because I'm not having Soon Young get married. Uh you know any other way like i'm not gonna have her have a romantic interest with racket or shark racket which he's supposed to be getting married tomorrow like that's just weird and i think those are all the people i want to invite i want to invite molly coddle or molly wolf i guess would be her name now but it doesn't appear that um aaron knows her which is strange because she's been over the house like four times but okay anyway so wedding party 2 p.m formal attire we will invite amir isabel Kylie, Michael, Christopher, Bethany. Oh, I feel so weird not having Tamara at these parties. Tucker, Jade. And I think that is about it. Yeah, I don't think we have anyone else. I need to like get rid of these romantic interests that Ayana has because she is really... Okay, we're going to do that right now, actually. All right, so first of all, Dudley Racket, where do you live? Do you live over here, Dudley? Dudley Dursley, yes you do. Okay, so you're gonna come over here, Ayana. And she earned 146 from in tips. That's really good, actually. What? Oh, she has her guitar skill mastered. Okay, well that makes sense that she makes that much money. Because she's really good at playing guitar. So, alright. Are you here, Dudley? Where are you at? For some reason I can, like, see in his house. It's weird, because I'm not even on the lot yet. Um, Dudley, I need to end it with you, sir. Marigold wants to chat. I think you guys are just friends, right? You should just be friends. Yeah, you guys are just friends. Okay. Alright, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Okay, we're going all the way out here. You know what? I don't even need to talk to you. I don't even need to go in your house. I just need to ask to be your friend because... Wait, I just exited that wish out. I didn't mean to do that game. Okay, come on. Come on, Ayana. I'm going to... Yeah, just ask him to be friends and then we can use your toilet. Thank you because you have a really expensive toilet. So, <laughs> Joke's on you. Yeah, I'm taking a shit in your toilet. What are you gonna do about it? Why are you walking in on me, you fucking weirdo? And then Hardwood or Hardwood Clay is the next person that we have to break his heart who lives over here. I kind of remember where Sims live because I've just played this fucking game. This town in specific, like so much that I just remember where like all these Sims live. So alright. So we're gonna end it with him. And then we need to go to Wei Keen's house. Oh, it's like 1 a.m. Is he gonna let us in? I hope he does. Wait, let me, let me in, let me in, let me in. Let me in. Oh my god, my camera's like spinning around crazily. Okay, here we go. We're gonna ask him just to be friends, and then we're gonna have Ayana go home. Damn, she's just breaking hearts left, right, and center right now. Ayana's behaving inappropriately. Why? Because I told you I don't want to be with you anymore? What the fuck? It's fucking weirdo. All right, and then we're going to go home and send Ayana to bed. So Ayana's like single and ready to mingle now. If she sees any hot people that try to crash the wedding tomorrow, I mean, she can like hit them up. You know how it is. So anyway, everyone should pretty much be in bed. Roxy's in bed. Yes, Soon Young's in bed. She's like the most important one. Speaking of, why are you still over there? For some reason... Lewis is like still over at his niece's house, which I'm gonna, you know, as much as I appreciate that, I'm gonna have you go to bed, dude. And Aaron, you have a wedding in the morning. Why are you still up? I mean, not in the morning. I guess it's at like, what, 2 p.m.? That's not that bad, actually. All right. Well, everyone's pretty much just gonna go to bed. And then, so I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna continue to, I'm gonna pick up. I mean, fuck, I can't speak. It's getting pretty late. Yeah, I think it's pretty late too. We probably should go home. I just like ordered you to go to sleep. Why did you not do that? I hate when my Sims don't listen. It's quite infuriating. Anyways, I will pick up when it is a wedding time in the morning. All right, Miss Soon Young Kim, it is your wedding day. So we're gonna have her wake up, take a nice long bath. It is 6 a.m. So she is waking up considerably early. I mean, 
I'm sure she's nervous. I'm sure she's got little butterflies in her stomach. Um, you know, all of the above. I hope that everyone is well rested because everyone did get to bed pretty late. But we're going to have Soon Young arrive as soon as possible. And we will also have her mother in law make up the wedding cake, of course. That it is like pure tradition is for Roxy to make some desserts. So I'm going to have uh, Roxy eat some breakfast, of course, and when she wakes up. And then she can start to make up some desserts we'll have her make up some cupcakes and stuff like that there will be food at the wedding but there will not be desserts and i actually don't know where i will put the desserts i'll probably just like have to put them on the floor although i think i did put a picnic table at the lot so we should be fine actually i just put them on the picnic table or something like that um so roxy is going to wake up right now she wants to work on a book does she have a book being written? I think she does. She's literally been working on the same book. Missing Anna Macyon. It's been, she's been working on it for a very long time at this point. Okay, so the party starts at 2. So we do have a little bit of time. Um, hopefully Roxy will have enough time to have her make all the stuff I would like her to make. And Aaron's almost well rested. Are these fish still alive? Oh my god, they are still alive. I'm shocked. I feel like they would have died by now. I haven't fed them in like days. I just forget to do it. I feel like my sims just do it autonomously. So sometimes I actually don't have to have to have them be fed. Um, okay. So Soon Yang is still in the bath. She's about to be done. She took a nice long bath for her morning little routine before her wedding. And we will have Roxy come over and make some cupcakes when she is done eating her pancakes. Is Soon Yang still singing? She was like singing for so long there. Alright, so Roxy's gonna start to make the cupcakes right now, and I'm gonna have Aaron wake up and eat, uh, there is nothing, I'll just have, have a baguette, I mean, it's, we don't have any more pancakes in there, so, actually, let's see what we have in the food replicator, do we have anything in here? Let's see, no, there's nothing in here, I wonder how many days it lasts for, like, the food that I put in the food replicator, it seems like it only lasts for, like, a day or so, so, it's unfortunate, but it's okay. All right, so soon, young, you actually have stuff to do. Um, I need you to go upstairs and plan your outfit for your wedding. I have to put you in a nice little wedding dress. I think Aaron's honestly are all okay. I'm pretty sure I already did his formal attire, but we can just check it anyway, just to make sure it's okay. It appears, oh, maybe not. It might be not be okay. I might have to fix it. It's not like a traditional suit, I don't think, because, you know, he's not a traditional type of guy, so I kind of... <laughs> Oh, I should have gone to a stylist because now I have to change her hair and her and her formal attire separately. Shit. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go out and I'm just literally- I just- I didn't want to cheat it, but yeah, that's not a very wedding dress. So I'm gonna just cheat it. Like, I'm gonna go click on her and Ross master controller stylist um and the only other way to to get to stylist is to go all the way over to the tattoo and stylist place you know that comes with ambitions i hope that makes sense uh yeah it's the only other way to do it otherwise you just have to go in enros and do it that way i personally like doing it enros though i prefer to do it in, to do stylist rather than edit in cast because I used to get this glitch and I don't know if it's because I was using testing cheats enabled true and editing them that way, but it used to reset my sims ages and like that is so annoying when that happens. Like why why does that happen? I don't want that to happen. I don't want my sims ages to be completely reset. So for Soon Young, I'm thinking a very like very princessy type of dress. Um I'm gonna keep her hair up, I think. I like her hair up. I think it's very pretty. Uh, and other than that, like, this will be a pretty straightforward little makeover for her wedding. Like, this dress is, like, so flowy. I love this dress. I'm gonna give it to her. I really despise how you can't edit the blue on it, but maybe that could be, like, her theme of her wedding. I mean, I didn't make anything else blue in the venue, so we'll have, um, Erin's suit be this kind of, like, turquoise blue that her dress has on it. I really don't like how you can't edit that blue on the, on the dress. It's kind of strange. Like, there's no way to change these little accents on it which okay whatever anyways let's give her a new hairstyle for her wedding dress i think i can either give her the 
side braid that I have possibly which is or I could give her something like this oh this looks like really stiff to me like this hair it feels like there's a thousand pounds of hairspray in it to make it like sit this way so I don't quite like that's kind of a problem I also have with EA hairs not so much the hairs from the Simistry store but like the hairs that come with the games they are looking a little bit stiff if you ask me so I could give her this traditional wedding veil, but it's not that cute. I don't know. I just would prefer to give her, like, something like this. Like, this is so pretty. If I could- can I edit the flowers? No, I can't. Damn it. If I could edit those flowers into being, like, blue so they match her dress, that would be so pretty. But I hope that's gonna be able to happen, because obviously I can't edit them. But I do really like this hairstyle. Um, I think I'm going to give her this one, though. I'm- is this the one Roxy had for her wedding? I don't think so. No, Roxy had this one. Yeah, so it's okay if we use this one because um, I'm pretty sure that no one's used this before. And you can edit the flowers in this one. Thank God. We're not stuck with these like pink flowers. I don't think at least. Yeah, we're not stuck with them. So that's good. Uh, this one I'm gonna make like put some blue flowers in there to match her dress. Sorry about that. My um, mother came home so my dog started to like freak out. Okay, freak out! Anyway, so we're going to apply, give her like a little bit of eyeshadow. Not too much, but like, you know, just to kind of like darken up the eyes a little bit. Kind of give her like that sultry, sultry look. Uh, let's change up her lipstick as well, just for this specific outfit. We're going to give her a light lip, and I think she already has contour on, so that should be good. Yes, she does. And, okay, so here's her little wedding look. I think she looks super cute, and yeah, I'm excited for her wedding. It's going to be so fun. So, speaking of formal outfits, we still need to make sure that Aaron's outfit's okay, so I'm going to wait for him to finish eating. What is he eating? Baguette. <laughs> baguette. I forgot he's eating baguette. Oh, look at these little cupcakes. Oh my gosh they're so cute outstanding quality good job roxy okay we're gonna have her serve up the wedding cake now i'm gonna put the cupcakes in her actually you know what great thing about sims 3 is that if i forget to bring the wedding cake i i mean i can or if i forget to bring the cupcakes because usually i'll just stick them in the fridge until the event happens because i don't like to keep them in the inventory i'm sorry <laughs> I just ran up the stairs to grab my dog from outside and like I am out of breath. It is actually 80 degrees in my house right now. It's pretty crazy. It looks like Aaron's gonna go work out before he has- oh my gosh wait your outfit is not right. Okay you need to come downstairs to- actually no I, you know I just go NRAS master controller stylist. <gasps> anyway sorry I ran up the stairs. I'm so fucking winded. Anyway um what was I saying? Oh, so in Sims 4, like, sometimes I'll forget the wedding cake back at home, and if that happens, like, it's over. I, I, I will not have a wedding cake. But because Sims 3, you can literally just go home and put the- or I, if you store the wedding cake in the fridge, then you can um, just, like, drag it back into your inventory, whereas Sims 4, when you're on a lot, like, there's no going back to the house so it kind of sucks all right we're gonna make aaron's little vest thingy under there i don't know what that's called i'm sorry i've never been in a wedding i never had a wedding we're gonna make it blue just to match miss Su young's uh dress and <laughs> we're actually gonna have aaron do something with his hair too we're gonna have him slick his hair back which you know i never thought i'd see this day for him to do this but dang it it's it's come so we need him to slick his hair back um i'm not sure what hairstyle we should do in order to show that let's see maybe this one this one's like really simple really basic so we'll just give him that one you know we gotta give him like a special hair for a special day i'm sure that soon young is like erin you need to do something with your hair for this wedding because i don't want you looking like a fucking bum i mean he kind of to be fair he kind of does look like a bum 
in his everyday clothes like but he's like a cute bum come on come on guys um anyway so but yeah we can have him work out a little bit i guess love him work out before his wedding have him go and exercise he can push himself as well actually no what no <laughs> no 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 the party's in two hours i did not realize it was it was already oh it's almost 12 i mean by the time they get there it'll be 12 so i'm gonna have him and soon young go to the venue um she's chatting on the phone with a shark who i think is her oh yeah i forgot the only person that i had to cancel all the romantic stuff was fucking ayana shit well she still has two romantic interests oopsie that's an accident it's okay though we just won't have her flirt with them or anything like that okay so roxy just put the cake in the or took the cake out of the oven now we're gonna have her ice the cake you know how it is a nice little icing on the cake and we're gonna wake up ayana i just realized that she's not even up yet so we'll have her oh the maid's cleaning the shower okay well we'll, we'll go on the stairs and have her go take a shower there and so Aaron and uh, Soonyoung are heading over to the wedding venue. Very nice. Um, Roxy will be up next in the wedding venue. And I love this little mood that they get, just like mom used to make. It's so cute. Okay, so here's the wedding cake. It is very, a very, very pretty wedding cake, isn't it? Um, we're going to put it in the fridge up until the wedding. Okay, I almost just put it in the trash compactor. Oh, oh it won't go in the fridge. Um... I guess not. Okay, well, whatever. If you don't want to go in the fridge, then don't. Like, damn. Okay, I'm gonna have her make one last pie. We're gonna have her make a raspberry pie, and this will be the last thing that we have her make before we head off to the wedding, and that'll be fun. Oh my god, I just realized Aaron isn't- or Louis. Ah! You're singing so loud, Ayana. You know, it's always a Ayana. That's, like, super loud. It's always her. Aaron is- Louis is gonna- <laughs> god damn it lewis is going to go and take a shower and then we're gonna have ayana run up or run over to the wedding venue um roxy's obviously baking a pie so she might be slightly late i mean someone i, I can hope that she won't be late but i don't have any promises even if she is late like that's fine oh we have a tourist here is she she looks like to be an egyptian tourist we'll give her like a little friendly introduction i suppose she's come for the wedding i just realized there's no bathrooms on this lot <gasps> ah uh, that's a problem okay um i'm gonna buy on this lot i just realized that yeah that's a big problem okay well i guess we'll have to fix it right okay so i just added a little bathroom i'm sorry i kind of like cut out that part because it was gonna take me a minute to do it um anyway so aaron is going to go and use the toilet you know use the brand new toilet i literally just placed down and it looks like Soon Young is talking to the tourist over here, waiting for her little wedding party to start, or her wedding to start, not her wedding party. It makes it sound like I'm throwing like a whole separate party. Ayana's over here as well. I'm gonna have Ayana come outside and serve the buffet because she is just the one that's not doing anything right now, I guess. Um, Roxy is still baking this raspberry pie. I'm gonna bring over the wedding cake to, let's see, what are you doing? Oh my god, someone is getting food. I think it's Lewis. Literally, it's, of course, it's Lewis, the one that's gonna be late to his twin brother's fucking wedding. Okay, anyway, um, Aw, he's asking his sister about our day. How cute. This is such- I love the fact that I don't- Like, one of my- I love, uh, seasons. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love seasons. But- Ew, Michael's hitting on Soon Young. Ew, I don't like that. She doesn't know any of the family, I just realized. So I'm gonna have her introduce herself. Oh my god, everyone is, like, hitting on Soon Young. Everyone is hitting on my sims. It's kind of disgusting. Um, Roxy needs to get her ass over here. Like, it's her son's wedding and she's not over there yet. She does, however, have a pie that I'm gonna give her, have her bring over, and also the cupcakes, which I will have her bring over as well. So, both her and Louis are going to head over to the wedding. It's gonna be super fun. So, I think I put down, did I put down a wedding? Oh, I didn't put down a, um, picnic table of anywhere that's kind of a problem i'm gonna put down a picnic table just so that i can oh my god molly coddle is so pregnant do you see her over there oh wait her stomach's actually flat what the fuck that's confusing but she's like doing like the really pregnant walk that's strange i didn't put down a picnic table so i'm just gonna add one here really quickly and we'll make it the same color i think it's already the same color i'm not sure though 
There we go. Okay. So we'll put that down, and then we will just throw down the food all the food that I had Roxy make. So like the raspberry pie, if I can. Oh, it's because she's in the in a car right now that I can't have her do that. Alright, so soon you guys just introducing yourself to all these people, all of the relatives of Tucker and Molly Coddle. And Tucker tried to flirt with Molly and she's like, ew, no. Yeah, that's right, Molly. I know you're in love with your with a mirror, which makes me very happy actually. Alright, so everyone should be here now. Um, we're gonna put down the cupcakes, which I think Roxy, yeah, she can put them down now, and also the pie, which will not go down for whatever reason. I'm just literally gonna put it on the floor like we don't have another option. Alright, so let's have everyone come over. Oh my god, she's- <sighs> This is so annoying. This is literally so annoying. I can- Can I reset her? Reset Sim. Molly Wolf. I- I love her and all, but I don't want to deal with it right now, okay? Like- <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. What an awful thing to do. Anyway, let's have them go and get married, okay? Let's pretend like that never happens. All right, let's just pretend. All right, guys, go up the stairs. We're going to go inside, you know, get married, have like the little wedding party. Oh my god, Roxy's playing on her iPad instead of watching the wedding. Where are you, Lewis? Lewis, why are you eating cupcakes? It's not time to eat a cupcake. It's time to watch your twin brother get married. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh, Christopher's heartbroken over Tamara. No, it makes me sad. All right, guys, here we go. Wedding party. I love weddings. They're my favorite. Oh my god, Michael looks so handsome. He looks like Prince Eric. Who is playing the guitar? Who is it? Ayana. Anna. Oh my. Of course it is. Of fucking course it is. <gasps> no, no, you're getting. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. We got like a prime view here of the. Aaron and Soon Young wedding. Oh, look at them. How cute. She's putting the ring on his finger. Oh, and there's the wedding petals. So cute. Congratulations, you two. I'm happy for you. Soon Young, Kim, and Aaron Wolf are now married. And then we're going to have them cut the wedding cake outside, of course. So we'll have him go initiate the cutting the wedding cake. Yay! I like how, like, the store is so tiny that it's going to, like, get clogged. Guarantee. Guarantee it'll get clogged. Guarantee. <gasps> Amir gave- oh, Amir is not the father of a new baby girl. Molly gave birth to a baby girl named Kayla. Congrats, Amir. I guess that's why Amir didn't come is because his wife is in labor, which is understandable. Um, yeah, I probably would advise him not to come because the birth of his daughter is more important for sure. All right, let's put the walls up and we'll have them cut the wedding cake. Yeah, oh, she's like, ooh, I have a hot husband. <laughs> okay, cut the wedding cake, guys. Come on. Come on. Really? She's just walking away? Really? Did they even cut it? Oh, here we go. I just missed the cutting of it. Okay, well, fantastic. Roxy did make this wedding cake. I'm very proud. Oh, she has a she has a moonlit mother of the groom. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm gonna have Roxy go and use the bathroom because you know these old people bladders can't hold can't hold it in for shit. Um, he's grabbing a slice. Let's have Ayana come over and eat the cupcake that her brother like took out and then never ended up finishing because I obviously she can't get in there. I guess Kylie was going to use that stall, so she has to go in the other stall. Okay, cool. Very nice wedding. This was one of the more successful weddings. This was at least not as disastrous as Michael and Kylie's wedding. That was absolutely, like, the worst wedding I've ever had in my whole entire life. I cannot believe it went as badly. Why are you eating a cupcake? You're full. You're full. You know what? Why don't you come over and go play chess with Michael? Because you want to play chess, and he is your brother, so, you know, just hang out with him a little bit both of these men both good looking men playing uh playing chess with one another oh they want she wants to go to china and i think uh she did as well yeah she actually does want to go to china so i guess we're going back to china guys on our honeymoon on their honeymoon we will have them go back to china and it'll be super fun look at her eating the cupcakes i am so happy that roxy made all the food like she is such a good cook she is really such a good cook i hope ayana can kind of um be as good of a cook as her mom because it's super helpful like why are you grabbing a slice you're not hungry it's very it's definitely super helpful why is kylie taking so long in the bathroom 
oh this is isabel i was like kylie you're taking forever in there because she was in the stall for a long time but no nope nope she's out by now um but yeah i had a super good time why are my sims trying to like eat this wedding cake when they're not even hungry they're all just gorging themselves i feel like oh mirror's here and jade came <gasps> okay well we have to introduce her they came super late they missed the whole fucking wedding what the hell is up with that what happened there well at least his boo came jade ended up coming that's nice the, the other the other twin other twins girlfriends um isabel and ayana wolf are no longer friends well i can fix that right now where's isabel isabel where are you at I'm gonna come and have them talk, I guess, a little bit, because I don't want them to be not know each other. That's weird. Like, this is her niece. She should be friendly with her niece. Of course, compliment her cleverness. We'll make a silly face with her. You know, just chat it up with her a little tiny bit. Um, we're having a pretty good party, though. Like, I'm having a really good time, actually. All the guests, you know, are interacting with one another. Um, people are, like, rekindling their relationships. They're getting to know each other. Roxy, stop trying to scare me, please, and thank you. Oh, she has to pee really bad, so I'm gonna have her go use the stall. And Amir's here. Oh, should we have the Amir and um Amir and and her mom his mom talk? I think so. Let's have them just, you know, make silly faces and stuff. Now, I know Amir has never really had a good relationship with Roxy, like that's pretty evident. Even when he's he has to be like halfway to being an elder, I would think. So his entire life, like he's never really had a good relationship with his mom, which is kind of sad, but you know what? Damn it, we're proposing a marriage over here. And then Michael, uh, Lewis like suddenly pulls out a ring at his, at his twin brother's wedding. He's like, wait, Jade, like, would you marry me? Will, will you marry me? <gasps> and then she's like, yes. But I really hate when people do this type of thing. Literally no one's watching this happen. It's okay though. Um, I hate when people like propose to one another at other people's weddings like it just feels like you're trying to like steal the thunder away from the bride and groom whose day it is you know it's like what the fuck but Lewis does gives no fucks at all Lewis gives no fucks at all they've only I mean they've been they've been like romantically interested with one another for a long long time like I think they met in high school so yeah they've only been technically dating for like a day but in actuality, they've been together for an even longer time. Oh, look at the bride. She's just sitting in here trying to eat her, eat her heart out, <laughs> eat the stresses away. Mason aged up, which is weird because his twin sister has been a teenager for quite a while now. I don't quite know why they aren't on like the same lifespan thing, but it's, it's just weird. We have like a bunch of food that was just left out over here. Like, no one ate it. It's okay, though. At least we have extras, I guess. Um, everyone dug into the wedding cake, though, which is nice. Grab a plate of it. You're not hungry. Why do you keep trying to grab food? Is this, like, a decor object? I can't actually play this. That's so weird that I can't... This must be, like, a decor object. Because I can... The only thing I can do is view it. Huh. Strange. I wonder where this came from. Maybe by debug would be my guess, I think. Why are you trying to eat, dude? You're stuffed. You are friggin' stuffed. Oh, it looks like Anna's serenading the wedding with some nice music. Oh, we should have her introduce herself to Jade because they're literally going to be getting married soon. You know? It's crazy. Um, but Amir, oh, Amir improved his, his charisma to level 3, which is always nice. You know how it is. And we're going to ask a little bit about Jade. I think she already knows her from high school, I'm pretty sure. Because they all were around the same age when they all went to high school together. So I think that's how they know each other. Um, oh, these two are not getting along. Play tag. Why are you playing tag with your son who's like literally an adult man? What the fuck? Okay, well, that's very strange. Um, but anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here. It was a pretty eventful wedding. Lewis keeps trying to gorge himself. This dude needs to go home for real because like he is just he keeps trying to eat Just keeps trying to eat keeps trying to eat. We're gonna send soon young home too. Why are you trying to flirt with your brother-in-law you sicko? That is fucking sick. I am Disgusted. I've never been more disgusted in my life. Oh, Iana's getting to know Jade, which is really nice You know, they're gonna be sister-in-laws pretty soon. I think um 
so it's probably pretty important that they get to know each other. But guys, uh, I hope that story progression doesn't force a wedding between Lewis and and Jade. And if it does, I'm gonna be really fucking sad. But um, it will just have to be because I can't. I, I want to play other households. I'm honestly sorry that there's so many cuts in this video. Like, my dog keeps barking because she- every noise that she hears, she thinks that my mom is home, which my mom actually did just come home, but still. Um, but I was saying that if Lewis is- like, I can't- I can't sit here and just wait for- for story progression to push Lewis to get married. Like, that's just not an ideal type of situation. I want to play Amir and Molly's new baby. I want to play Michael- and Kylie's household and interact with little Curtis like I just can't be focusing in on one household this entire time you know what I mean like we have other households that we have to deal with so that's something to think about if story progression does push Lewis and Jade to get married then that's okay I feel like Lewis I mean this might be kind of biased but I felt like Lewis has been kind of a side character this entire leprosy anyway um I feel like Aaron kind of when he turned into a young adult, that's when he really started to like have an impact and an importance on this leprosy. But with that said, I would like to move out Soon Young and Aaron very, very soon. Let them have their little honeymoon to China and we will get the dummy thing, the training dummy, the breaking board, all that stuff. We will let Soon Young visit her family back in China. I'm not exactly sure now that she, is she like a citizen of Twinbrook now so that she has no like does she have like a level three visa in China I'm not exactly sure that's something we'll have to actually explore but anyways guys that will be in the next episode so I do hope you enjoyed I had a lot of fun I love weddings I love throwing parties in the sims as you guys know it is one of my favorite things to do so anyway guys thank you all so much for watching this episode and being here with me and peace out